Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very special beaded bird. And I'm going to make this pattern available to you in the link below this video. Okay, to get started, you're going to print off the pattern and you're going to place it on two layers of felt and you're going to cut them out. Okay, so I have all those pieces cut out. Now I'm going to use some embroidery floss and I bought this whole package at the dollar store. But if you don't have embroidery floss, you could just use some spool of thread and just use two thicknesses. And I have some beads that I purchased at the dollar store. And the first section I'm going to do is the tail. So I'm just going to start inside. And I'm just going to use an overhand stitch for this. You could use a blanket stitch if you like. But I'm going to make take one stitch and for every stitch I'm going to pick up one gold bead on my needle. And I'm just going to take another very close. I'm going to stay fairly close. again, and a stitch. I'm just going to continue all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around, and as you can see, right in the centers here, I didn't put any beads because they would be too bulky. And now I'm just going to make a little flower here. So I can't stick my finger through here because it's too small, so I've just slid a pencil in. I have a knot on the end of my thread. I'm going to bring it through approximately in the center here. To make my flower, I'm just going to hold the thread out like this in a loop. I'm going to go back into that same hole as I have for my center. I'm going to bring the needle out, and you'll have a loop like this. So now I go back into the center again, like that. And you're just going to repeat that and make as many loops as you need. So I'm just going to come through the loop, pull it through, come back out into the center. So you're just going to go all the way around in a circle. Okay, I've worked all the way around and I've made five loops. Now I'm going to place one bead in the center. I'm just going to take a few stitch lines down to the end of this loop. And I'm going to go back through like that. Then come back out through one of these threads. Back through again. Come back out here. Trim off. Okay, so there's the tail. You can use a pencil to place your stuffing wherever you need it. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have done exactly the same procedure with the wing. And now I'm going to place it centered on the body of the bird. And I'm just going to do a running stitch to attach the wing to the body. And that is also going to add some extra detail. Like that. Okay, I have my tail ready and I have both sides of my bird. Okay, I started here and I worked all the way around. And now I've reached the back section. So I'm going to take the tail and I'm going to just tuck it right inside like that. And here I'm going to switch to a running stitch. So I'm just going to take one stitch first just to get that stabilized and I'm going to pick up a bead, I'm going to place it through, and then I'm going to go to the opposite side, pick up a bead, go through, And now I'm just going to continue to take a stitch 
and a bead. Okay, I'm ready to stuff. And now I'm just going to continue to close up the top. And put on a blue bead. I'm going to go straight across to the opposite side where I've already got my other blue bead in. Like that. Now I can go through this bead again. Come back out over here. Just take a few stitches right here. And that's how the bird looks so far. So now we're going to make a little collar around the neck. And I put on enough beads to be able to wrap it all the way around the neck. And then just connect it to this first bead. And then just take a few stitches to secure that. Like that. And I'm going to make one more row. I've just done that one row of stitching. Okay, so I added one more row of stitching. So I have the two rows of stitching about a quarter of an inch apart. One row of stitching below and one row of stitching above. And I could keep going on forever, but I'm going to call it finished. So the first party that I get invited to, this will be the hostess gift.